Yo, what up ladies and gentlemen, it's the one Nicky Gaming here and welcome to Bear With Me and this is a game I got from Steam uh, for free with the help of my network freedom uh, so yeah, they were just giving away the game and I happened to get it so this game is the game, uh, this game is about uh, this girl over here, uh, Amber who is searching for her missing brother with the help of her uh, teddy bear this good guy over here. Alright, I just played this game a little bit. I don't know much about this game, but I believe this game is only available for the PC. And this is an episodic game, so I guess this is episode 1. And I believe there is no episode 2 yet. Alright, I'm gonna shut up. Alright, so this is Amber, and I just, uh, she just woke up, so. Alright, uh, let's just. This is my bed. There are men. I just explore. Alright. What the fuck are you, Millie? Okay. Talk to Millie. I feel like a giraffe. It right. seems you had a nightmare. I don't really m remember it was this fire. Yeah, but I can find it. Let's just... There was this fire and black smoke was coming from the windows. Funny thing is, it didn't feel scary to me. Like I wasn't really there. Was it Paper City? No, I don't think so. What are you doing here, Millie? Are you alright? Oh no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted? I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven and he's become a burnout. I haven't seen him since he left the city, but whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. Alright, here we go after. Okay, I don't know Millie, if these uh, options have different endings. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear lines. me out. I don't know. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. But for your sake, miss, please don't go wandering around alone. There is something else I haven't told you about. The reason I came all the way down here... There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week, ever since he showed up. The officials are burying their heads in the sand, while this man has an entire city, your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well... Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime-fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a city-wide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The Mugshot Boys helped me through the East Tunnel, bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, Miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, 
before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. Damn, there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of talking in this game. Alright, let's just uh, explore a bit. Uh, glasses. I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. Alright. Drawer. Oh, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. Alright. Uh... Case. Uh, sorry if you can like, uh, hear something uh, there's a plane outside. Alright, battery. That might come in handy. I'll Maybe just later. pick this up. You never know when it might come in handy. Yep, that's what I was saying. Alright. Huge uh, plant. Folium Cadent. When was the last time I watered this? Oh, that's right. I didn't. It's really hanging in there. Oh shit. Ugh. Uh, the fuck happened? Alright, this is the... I believe Ted is in the closet, Teddy Bear. Is he playing that right. Amber Ashworth. I had a nickname for the time this frog got me in trouble. I mean neck deep in nickels right now. Something's different this time. I can feel it here. Someone really put the scares on her. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. She starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm tired, for good this time. Call teddy bear, you're fucking very mean. Call teddy bear, man. You can think of your business. It was in your bed. Yeah, okay, I was in your bed. In bed. I was in bed. Millie yeah, woke bed. me up. Well, you yeah, should ask bed. her to help you out then. So, you're saying I should ask an old blind woman to help me out? That old broad is tougher than she looks. Now, if you don't mind, I have some real work to do. Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown into a wood chipper thanks to you. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated was in my bird watching, uh, poker and cigar club. And where were you? You ran off. I was.
was following a lead, um, somewhere else. Yeah? What you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, doll, I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous trainers, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing is behind us. It belongs past. Ish? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, but... No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? You're still here, and I still have a lot of work to do. To be the this again, you owe me a rent, I guess I'll go along with that. Do we really have to do this whole bit again? Fine. This is dragging on for way too long. To pass my office out. What's this nonsense all about anyway? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like all sorts of bad things, and there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie. The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route, but I think that's been closed off too. They? Um, yeah, Millie and the Wine and Cheese of the Month Club. They need a place to, uh... Get drunk and eat cheese bits? It's called a living room. They have clubs for everything these days. Wait, are you making this up? Yeah, sorry. Being, the mugshot voice helps her that you're finding you know the, your like. brother. I mean, Lennon. what's not to like? Back you also there, got these, at the though, point. they literally stole a cat from a baby once. But wasn't that baby an undercover cop? So when well, did baby become undercover yeah, cop? Yeah, was. But they didn't the know hell that. Just came. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel. The one that leads to Flint's room. And she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man. It's completely in red. He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. He's asking questions red about you? Like cool What's so interesting about you? The Red Man. Hey, I'll have you know, there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. Millie is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. Will you help me out? Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. I'm afraid a crucial component that will help in our future investigation is missing. What? Your head, your nose, the two uh, I can see your nose over there, so maybe your head? Your hat? No. I'm phasing that one out. Your magnifier? That's right, dog face. Now be a good assistant and go find it for me. I'm sorry, your assistant? You know what I mean. Now get cracking. First of all, Thank you. Now we must get. Glue. I bet this glue will be useful. Better take it with me. I need to find this magnifier. Uh, you know what? We have this piece of shit broken magnifier. We have some glasses. We have some glue. So you know what? Take the glue. There we go. The broken magnifier. Now I just need a lens. Now we need the lens from the glasses. Just take these glasses. I don't think so. Alright, I get it. Use this piece of shit. I broke my mom's glasses. I better find use for this lens now. There we go. Now, you just. Voila! A perfect crime. Ted will never know. Wow, you just have to say it in front of, it, uh, in front of Ted. Alright, there you go, your piece of shit. That's not my magnifier. 
What do you mean? It's a magnifier. It magnifies and everything? No. This is my magnifier. With the lens missing. Which I'm sure you broke recently. You've replaced the lens with your mom's glasses and glued them together with kids' glue. That's preposterous. Never have I ever. Okay, never mind. This will do, I guess. Let's head out. Whatever, man. You just said that in front of him, so how the hell did he... Um, of course he's gonna know that he's weak heart. Alright. So this game has a lot of talking and it's just boring. Alright, now we can head outside. Uh, maybe... Fuck man, you're right. Get the fuck outside. You piece of shit. Let's head out. Watch my back, Ted. So far the game is good, but there are a lot of talking in it. Alright, we're in this little shit hole. Alright, you know what? We're gonna have to finish the video over here. Uh, I don't know how long it is, so hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, expect a second part uh, uh, tomorrow. Subscribe if you want to get the uh, notified of uh, about all the uploads that I'm doing, uh, gonna do about this game. Hope you enjoyed. Like, favorite, subscribe, comment, and all that. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.